As always, you guys, thank you so much for ordering. I'm packaging your guys' orders from last video. A bunch of you guys ordered and almost sold out the first day. I actually asked to get a new batch of these metal ones just so I could have enough for more of you guys. But I just want to say, remember guys, these are made in metal. They're not cheap and they even have screw covers. That way it looks very presentable. So once again, thank you guys so much for ordering. I'm gonna package these up for you guys. What's up you guys? Thank you so much for tuning in to another video. It's Frankie and I'm about to go drop off your guys' orders. I wanna say thank you guys so much. In the last video, I told you guys we only have 20 vacuum black license plates and you guys sold it out completely. So what I did is ordered a couple more uh, that way you guys could get them because I know many of you guys want them. So I want to say thank you guys once again. But I'm going to go drop off your guys' orders right now. It's a lot. I want to say thank you guys, all of you who support. For those that subscribe, like, and also shop KDM Built. Guys, look how convenient this wing is. It's literally a work area for your guys' orders. But the crazy part, look, there's literally spider webs. I don't know if it shows on camera. So remember, you guys, I finally got the first pair of wings in. So send me a DM. That way I could get you guys a quote on how much shipping would be to send them over to your guys' area. Now I'm going to do a quick cold start for you guys. For those of you who like hearing a V6 twin turbo. I don't think it'll be that loud. Yeah, a little silent. God damn, this license plate is so clean. Literally the best license plate you could put right now. But before we continue on with the video, I actually have to install some parts sent over by RPM Trade. I'm gonna make sure to list them in the description as well. You could check them out on eBay, but it's something that the car I think needs compared to the older version. And let me show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So these claws that are on the front bumper, they're dope, don't get me wrong, they're sick, I love them. It makes the car look so much more aggressive, but RPM Trade just came out with a whole new design. And to me, I think it's much better than the original one. What they did is come out with a version two, which is much more sleek and better and a little bit more aggressive. And let me show you guys why. So with the older design, the top piece here was longer compared to the bottom piece. So what they did is reverse that and it actually flows much more better with the car. So this is how it would look. The top piece is shorter and the bottom piece is longer. You guys will see in a bit once we replace them how much more aggressive it looks and how much better it flows with the car. But before we get to removing this and putting this one on, we actually have to paint this. So remember you guys could click the link below and get directed to these exact new claws or you could go on eBay and find them there as well. I wanna say thank you to RPM Trade for sending these out. Now let's get to installing these claws. This design does not have the top piece. They actually deattached it for those who don't like running this piece showing, like me where I cut this off because I didn't like this part showing and you could tell that it's a stick on piece. The way I have it now looks more flush, but it didn't come out nice, the cutting. So they did read and see that the consumers wanted a piece that was more I guess sleek and finished better on the car. So they made it for those that want it like this or not, which is way more convenient. I don't have to do no cutting or anything like that. We just stick it on and it'll look good. Wiping them down with some alcohol first. That way we can make sure there's no residues on here that are gonna prevent the paint from sticking. High temp primer is gonna go on first. While we wait, I'm gonna remove the old ones. Almost done. The black looks very good. Very high gloss black. And then this clear coat is making it even glossier. Gonna wait about 15 minutes and then come back and do another coat 
gonna probably do three coats all right it's been a couple hours they are now dried and they came out really good i'm not gonna lie but it's getting dark so i'm gonna put one side on and show you guys how simple it is literally 3m on the back i left one of the version ones on that way you guys could get a comparison what style you guys like backings off ready to go so once you take off the backing what you're gonna want to do is use these grooves to indicate how far you want to go back into your gill right here you don't want to have it touching but just enough where it's close then you're going to want to follow this body line here and it's as simple as that it should look like that so a little quick comparison version 2 versus the version 1 as you can tell this one has a lot of edging and cornering compared to this one following the body i really dig this style but i need you guys to comment down below should i leave them gloss black the way it is or should i do what i did to the version ones where i added a vacuum black uh, wrap onto it to give it that little bit of definition to match the grill and the bottom grill as well need to update this old baddie with the new design so i'm gonna get on to putting this thing real quick like i said these are high quality plates with little tabs so all you have to do is slide the license plate right in and it'll hold and it's as simple as that and once it's screwed on all you do is put the screw caps that way you could hide the bolts and just like that it's complete and dude this thing looks so good this new design honestly should have came out first this thing looks so nice also guys i just posted on my story i'm deciding what color to wrap the car and i need your guys's help deciding so comment down below should we do the violet purple slate gray orange or um i think that's miami blue so comment down below i need your guys's help and if you guys aren't following me on instagram give me a quick follow at dark.rsc going to an origins car me right now hopefully it's a banger i haven't been to one since i'd say before covid so it's been about three years now and from what i remember it would be banger the only thing i hated was going spot to spot but hopefully we get some runs in as well i want to see where the stinger stands right now with all its mods we aren't tuned if you guys are new to the channel this car is stock it's just cosmetically built otherwise it's stock completely other than a blow up valve and exhaust but i mean the kia stinger all wheel drive should do some damage let's whip it Hell cow looks so crazy. God damn, fat tire. Soon, guys, we'll be keeping up with GTRs. I promise. Fuck, man, look at these floors. These are so freaking clean. Oh, and matte black. Fuck, that one's so fire. My spec right here. If I was able to afford one of these cars right here, matte black. Oh my god, this thing looks so good. Look at this fucking Lexus, dude. I really need to make my car stand out. Being black, it just doesn't stand out compared to like all these bright colored cars. So guys, comment down below what color should we wrap the Stinger because if I were to park over here, it would not be compared to nothing over here. Nobody would even look twice at my car because it's just black, it's simple. I need something that's gonna pop. Got another GTR, oh my God. And another GTR. Carbon fiber hood, matte black. I think these are TEs. Advan. Another GTR. The Liberty on this Lexus is pretty sick. My do on the Stinger? This GTR has a cage too. That's crazy. I'm not gonna lie, it sucks being the slowest one here if I were to race in Mexico, of course. We're gonna get completely gaptized or we're gonna be able to keep up, but I doubt we're gonna be able to beat anything. Literally, all the cars I saw out here are fucking. Division one bound cars. I can't even think. Bro, literally all these cars are hitting out on the freeway now and bikes. That is fucking scary. Really hope nothing bad happens. 
bro, it's so fucking rowdy right now. That's fucking crazy. The cop is bro blocking the freeway. I fucking knew it. I was like, there's no way all these cars could get in. Oh, and they got someone. Yo, we got it. Let's go. A GTR right behind my ass? God damn, I'm about to get munched. Lamborghinis, Hellcat, Hi, bro. bro. Look at this nice. fucking Huracan. Holy shit! Dope ass fucking McLaren. Like so many dope ass cars right now. It's crazy. I can't film them all, but dude, look at. Oh my god, this Porsche is so loud. Out of all the cars here, the Prius is the one to get to. That's crazy. Another forged wrap car. I don't know, I think this is calling my name. Might have to do it. My, probably out of all the vehicles here, this has to be my favorite. This shit looks so good. God damn, matte black, Porsche GT3 RS. This thing's so nice. Nick's GTR, this thing looks sick. Oh my god, in person? I've only seen it in videos, but man, this thing looks pretty dope in person. The one that shoots massive flames. There's so many GTRs, I've never seen so many. I'll look literally another one here. This color is pretty sick. This is like a metallic matte gray. Looks pretty dope. Cobra seeds with the whole cage. Damn. Bro, this thing is so sexy. Fuck, dude, this color is so nice too. Matte black. God damn. Lamborghini, holy shit. This one is hella loud. I think it's so loud at idle. And of course, out of all the vehicles, the Prius is the one to be taken. How ironic. Another Lamborghini SV. Holy shit, dude, they're so loud. And another Lamborghini. Shit, I like this color. Another Lamborghini, god damn, how many? What the, with the bumper relief? Not the only Kia, guys. Street Arrow Lambo. This one goes hard. I've seen it all over YouTube and Instagram, but I can't, fuck, dude. That thing looks crazy in person. Holy shit, dude. Big ass turbo in the back. God damn. Shut down. One, two, three, four, five. Damn. Deep. Actually, two more right back there. God damn. That's gonna be it for today. It's already about to be 12, and I'm dead. I'm dead beat, and I got work tomorrow morning. But if you guys did enjoy, guys, please hit the like button. Also, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank you.